Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by HermitCrabAnswers.com. Today we'll be discussing hermit crabs and blowing bubbles and foaming. We'll also be doing this video in a little different, a uh, little different style, more of a conversational tone, more of a free form, so uh, we can be more engaging for you and to you as we explain this specific topic. Although it's rare, blowing bubbles can be a symptom of illness. However, it can be related to high tension stress, physical dirtiness, and the pre-stages of the molting process. Let's check out this overall summary of the situation, courtesy of HermitCrabAnswers.com. You can view this text on screen as we take a look and follow along. Usually, a hermit crab will make bubbles out of distress. This can be for severe reasons such as due to an injury, illness, dehydration, overheating, or post-purchase syndrome. And by the way, all of these will be talked about briefly in this video today. It can also be for less scary reasons, such as dirt in the shell or general loneliness. However, if your hermit crab has a single gray or black bubble that seems to be stuck on its abdomen, that's not technical bubbling. Instead, the crab is about to undergo its molting phase. We will also briefly discuss the molting phase as we go along. As you can see, bubbling and foaming can mean a lot of things, but it's important as an owner to do your part and pay close attention to the situation as a responsible owner and try to get down to the bottom of what everything means. Before we kick things off in full, as we always do, we'd like to thank you for your time and your support. We value your viewership, and we thank you for taking some time out of your day to join us. Now let's get started. Our first subheading for the day is... Is it bad for hermit crabs to blow bubbles? It can be a bad sign. Some foam can be a lot in terms of coverage, and some can be a little, even covering some foam can even cover the entire body in some cases, but so much depends on the environment and the root cause. Hermit crabs can bubble as a means to clean a dirty shell, which we will talk about a bit in more detail a little later. Um, more severe aspects to bubbling uh, do involve injury and dehydration, both of which can be life-threatening. This is why it's so important to pay attention to everything as an owner. Never just assume the reason involved, because some reasons can indeed be fatal. Be prepared to act, and we'll provide a few tips on how to do that a bit later in this material. In terms of smells, there is a smell to look for, and unfortunately and sadly, it uh, it's not good. If your hermit crab is bubbling and releasing a foul or fishy odor, this could mean that your hermit crab is in grave danger. This is not meant to scare, but this is some serious stuff, and the more you're able to understand, the better everyone involved will be, and the better and more that you can do for your crab in terms of its general health. Our next subheading is why your hermit crab is bubbling. You know, why does this even happen? Well, we've already noted a few, but let's take a closer look at some of the, uh, some more of the why aspects. Overheating is one. If the environment is too hot, your pet could overheat and dehydrate. Excessive digging within the substrate, uh, within the uh, hermit crab's enclosure, is an early sign that overheating could be an issue. So it's on you to check your tank and make sure all the settings are correct. Because even though hermit crabs require a warm temperature, you know, if it gets too hot, they can dehydrate. The next reason as to why your hermit crab could be bubbling or foaming is injury. This can either take place within the crab's enclosure at your home or perhaps injury at the pet store before you purchased the crab or during transportation. It all depends. Some people will purchase a hermit crab and it might have to travel uh, 50 to 100 miles to get to you, depending on the situation. So injury and transportation can occur. Uh, injury in general is one of the reasons why your crab could bubble. The next issue on our list is irritation. Hermit crabs can bubble and foam when their shell is dirty. We've noted that earlier, but the dirtiness can create some skin irritation. Uh, bubbling, in this case, is used to loosen that irritation. If dirt and debris is trapped under the shell, one way that you can help is to check your hermit crab's water source. It's important to make sure they have enough water to bathe themselves. Uh, in case you do not know, if you're a novice owner or you're just interested in this topic in general, Hermit crabs, you don't bathe them, they bathe themselves. So if they need enough water to get the job done. And if they don't have enough water in their enclosure, in their aquarium setting, um, this dirt and debris can build up and foaming can be used as a measure to remove the dirt and debris. But ideally, you would never, as an owner, want it to come to that. So make sure your hermit crab has enough water 
So the crab itself can get the job done without having to resort to this type of behavior. Next up on the list is what is known as post-purchase syndrome. Now, this is not unlike injury that can be caused in transportation to some degree. Uh, Post-purchase syndrome is all about illness and disease that can strike after you have purchased your hermit crab. Um, it's often caused by the crab's prior, in, prior living environment. Now, that could be someone else's home, but in some cases, it, and, well, I would say in, in many cases, it is the pet store, um, some, the, the environment the crab previously lived in before coming to you. Common symptoms of post-purchase syndrome are lethargy, weakness, overall weakness, a loss of appetite, and sadly, leg loss is also possible with this particular issue. Next up is molting. It should be noted that post-purchase syndrome can often end with molting. Uh, similar to bubbling uh, as a means to loosen debris, hermit crabs will bubble. Uh, they produce fat reserves, a reserve of fat and water. So as we noted in that on-screen text, the molting aspect is not really bubbling as much as it is uh, the, the start of the molting phase. Um, what should be noted is that uh, this part, if, if you can visually see this bubble that starts to form, um, notice, uh, if you can notice it, that's not a severe issue. That's part of a natural process. Um, it's a means to engage or begin the molting process. While some of these could be a little bit difficult to, to understand in terms of noting the root cause, molting is sort of one that gives itself away. Obviously, molting is not a serious issue. It's a natural process. So if you can recognize that the bubbling is due to molting, then everything is okay. Just let that process run its natural course. And finally on our list is stress. Now, this can be caused by a variety of factors, and molting can actually be one. Hermit crabs can become stressed if they're alone in their tank. Uh, crabs that go solo are often not happy being alone, so this can lead to bubbling and foaming. Our next subheading is what to do if your crab is bubbling. So what do you do, right? Well, a dog or a cat, if they're starting to show some signs of illness, you take them to the vet. And it's not so easy with a hermit crab. So one of the best things you can do is actually nothing. Uh, literally a hands-off approach. Do not handle, do not, do not touch. Uh, this can make the situation even worse, especially if the bubbling is due to an injury. Okay. Uh, one of the things you can do, even though it doesn't deal with the crab directly, it could make a world of difference depending on the root cause of the bubbling. Check all tank conditions. Check everything. Make sure everything is as it's supposed to be, substrate-wise, temperature-wise, water-wise, the works, everything, humidity, all of it. 70 to 80 percent humidity is a good range in terms of temperatures 75 to 85 fahrenheit during the day and 65 to 75 at night are normal ranges make sure everything is fine you might be able to uh, uh sort of stumble upon the root cause if you do notice that some things are not right with humidity temperature as again we've mentioned before check water make sure that the bubbling is not due to dirtiness uh, because the crab is unable to wash itself. Make sure all, 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 all of the grounds are covered in terms of the hermit crab's enclosure. And the uh, next and final subheading that we will talk about in this material, how long until my crab stops blowing bubbles? Well, it just all depends on the cause. You just have to wait it out. If the crab is stressed or dirty, the bubbling shouldn't last too long. But if the issue is due to a severe injury, things could unfortunately prove fatal. As we've noted, unlike other living creatures that we love, there's not really a hands-on way to treat this ailment. Um, and as we've mentioned, also hands-on can actually make things worse. The best you can do as an owner is to address the environmental conditions and the living conditions, all of the above and everything that entails. Change what needs to be changed, any red flags that you notice, as we've said in terms of water, the temperature, humidity, substrate, etc. Uh, do what you can and... Uh, you really just have to honestly hope for the best. That will wrap things up for this video. A little, little bit different video, more of a conversational tone today. I want to be more engaging. But if you would like more regarding this topic in terms of a full length and detailed article, which will uncover a lot of the things that we've already talked about, but in deeper detail, please head on over to hermitcrabanswers.com. You will find that full-length article. Our expert writers have done a brilliant job uncovering everything that you would need to know about the topic of why do crabs blow bubbles. 
And if you are currently watching us off site, not on the hermitcrabanswers.com website, please check out the initial link below in the description box. Click of that link. One click will take you to all of our valuable information in terms of the full length article. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours. And we will talk to you later. Thank you so much.